Okay, I'm spinning for silver to see this. It's that it's it, it no, they're not gonna walk underwater. That's <laughs> okay, land of the Vikings. What is this? Welcome everyone, this is Panic Game Grey Within, and we are coming back for some more Land of the Vikings. Don't forget we're still trying to reach that 250 subscribers. And once we reach that 250 subscribers, one lucky subscriber will get a hat, signed shirt, and a $50 gift card. So all it takes is a like and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. And you'll always know when we post a new video, which we try to do at least four to five times a week. We've noticed that more than 50% of you are not subscribed. Come on, guys. This is free. You get to sit back and watch some good, funny comic content. So, hey. Just hit that like and subscribe. So we're going to continue on in Land of the Vikings and trying to get the new updates up in there where you can see them with the new walls and the watchtowers and the training of our troops. Maybe we can even get a raid or two. Here we are back at our village working on our trade dock, getting it completed. Already have our shipyard going and... I already have a worker there. A few places that do need workers. But it seems we need somebody in the mill. No, our mill doesn't need a worker. It's full. All right. So our marketplaces are both full. Our mill is full. We just got to get through this and get some more people in so we can and get this food sold off so we can make some more money. We do have our cattle ranch is in place now to be built up. Let's see what it says on the objectives. We've got to reach 80 villagers. Right now we're setting at 56. So let's check out a few of these homes. We might be able to go ahead and finish the construction on a few of these. Go ahead and get them up. We'll have to go ahead and unlock one of them there. Let's get some more timber cut down here in this area. Just so we have to make sure we keep that wood going. Probably put a few little homes right down in here so the workers don't have that far to go. Bring this road around. It's a cattle ranch. Not much else we can put out here with this, this rock formation out here. So let's look at our production. I had it not do any armor whatsoever and very light fabric. So let's look. We got light fabric, no armor. In this warehouse, let's check out the other warehouse. Yeah, same. I don't want to waste the supplies on by, uh, building that armor up just yet until we get some more people in so we can start building soldiers and then we'll worry about building the light armor and heavy armor. All right, so that's another home built up. So that should start um, alleviating some of these homes to help start making uh, more families pop up in the area as well. Thus producing more kids so we have more people here. Right, so let's go ahead and put in a few more homes in. That way they can get the base construction going without actually building them all the way up. That way we need them in a pinch or in a hurry. They're already there. We'll eventually have to get that stone pit built up. That's on the other side of the uh, little bay right here next to our ship, uh, our dockyard, shipyard, excuse me, which is right over in this area. So we'll we'll start bringing some around here and putting homes over in this area so that the workers won't have that far to go to get to the job site or whatever. We need to get their money up some more so we can start uh, producing flour and also start producing barley soon so we can start making beer for our trade ships because there's going to be required to have beer for every person that goes out. So we got to make sure we stay on top of that. And in winter is coming. Let's didn't mean to spend that. Let's check our field and see how close we are to harvesting. Getting close. Hopefully we can get that harvested before the winter comes in. Another home that's built up. No children yet to speak of in those two. Population has went up only one. And we have some new come. Oh no, winter is coming in two days. We could go ahead and get us some more lights down through here so we can see a little bit better in our village. Let's put some around the homes. I'm not carrying around torches. All right, so it says we can harvest the, the uh, wheat 
now. So we're going to get started on that with our farmers. Hopefully they'll get it all out before winter actually sets in. Fishing dock is doing good. We've got 13 fish there waiting to be picked up. And we'll hold off on that. We might change this road right here up just so that we can put more homes through this area. Let's make it curve a little bit. Uh, like so. Alright, so they should have that wheat, that field just about harvested, which they do. They're starting to snowfall on the ground. So they'll have that. We have more than enough food to get us through the winter. We need to start pumping this up too, since we are starting to get more people in. Get that firewood built up so we we'll make sure we have plenty of that for our homes as well. Uh, let's go ahead and make this cattle ranch our priority, get it built up. We'll go ahead and start bringing the road down. That's going to have a just curve it around the uh, cattle ranch and we'll bring it back towards the trade dock area. And they are actually building the trade dock right now as well. So the trade dock and the cattle ranch are both going up. Got plenty of food there. Still needing some more marketplace workers to come out here and grab this food. But right now they're currently full, so they can't really grab too much more. So right now we're just going to be holding off on the food. Hopefully it don't go bad. We'll see if these people start buying some more through the, through the winter. We can hurry up and get it cleared out. All right, so our cattle ranch is finished. Let's go ahead and get some folks in there. Need power and speed. So we'll put them in there. Let's look at the speed side. And that's just going to provide mostly just the uh, meat and leather, but it's going to be a while before we start really worrying about trying to get meat and leather is the way we're setting right now. All right, shipyard. Somebody's hurt. Somebody's been went missing at the shipyard, it looks like. Uh, they passed away because we are down to 55 people now. So we've had to, yeah. Feels cold and a relative has died. So I don't know where they're feeling cold other than just being outside. We have plenty of firewood. Of course, they just have to come get it. Can we sneak a little road right past the back side of the... Uh... Yeah, we can do that. That way it's not as long of a walk. We'll do that. It doesn't hurt to put in a few little roads like that every once in a while. Just... Alright, so it looks like our dock is now completed. Our trade dock. Um... We can send a ship, but we have to build it first. And right now we're not building any ships until we get a few other things uh, built up. Um, we do have a, a supply chart here that tells you when everything is here. We can send that, and then we can sell those would be our meats and fish. And right now we really don't want to do that because that will end up hurting, hurting you in the long run because that number will start dwindling as we get more people that you'll run through that food a lot quicker. All right. So we got a merchant ship coming in less than a day. Winter's coming in about six hours, although there's snow everywhere, but winter's coming in six hours. All right. Let's go ahead and get this house here built up. We'll leave this, these areas right in here for maybe more farming. See how it goes. Probably put some more housing up in this area. Uh, timber is looking okay for the time being. Probably need to get a few more trees cut. But so winter is here. Marketplace and the mill are still full. And we have a trade ship. Let's see what they have. They have iron tools, meat, fruits. We don't need any meat. Iron tools. Can we buy anything there? I don't think they will let us. Nope, because we are broke until we get some more money. And, of course, the only way basically to make money is for your people here to come to your marketplaces and buy stuff or your warehouses and buy stuff. And right now, none of that's happening. We just have to go with what we got and just have to bypass or, yeah, bypass a trade on this ship here. And have to hopefully wait for the next one to come. We can't. I don't think we can even build a trade ship right now because I think it's like fifty go uh, fifty silver to even build a trade ship. So. All right, so we did get the other house built. We lost another person, so now we're down to fifty four. Hopefully, our population will start picking up. We've lost three people since we started building those extra homes, and it's not doing too good. What we got here? Hungry. I don't know why you're hungry. Dude. There's plenty of food. You just gotta go to the marketplace and get it. Gatherer's hut is at 13 fruit. 
hunter's hut. It's like 24 meat. I'm probably going to have to build another marketplace over on this side here for these few homes I put in this area for the stone pit just to help alleviate some of the issues with the food being spread out. Getting to the marketplace is just filling them up faster than we can get it, get it out. All right, we've jumped up to 58 now. So we're starting to get more people. I guess these people in these newer homes are, yep, there's a baby there, baby there. Baby there, no baby there yet. We got 20 goats now, popping out wool. All right, still gotta get to the other 80 people. We're at 58 before we can get to another objective. All right, so we're starting our road up, going over here to where we're gonna end up putting our stone pit and another part of our village just so we can start gathering some more of these rocks and trees in this area and not mess with the hunting lodge and gatherer's hut area so they'll start bringing them some more lumber and stones from that area as well beads was discovered which might have a lot to do with this little trade ship that's in our port still don't have the money to afford any of this so it's another missed opportunity but they're doing the same thing we're doing. What we're going to be doing is trying to sell off their excess. That was another one of the little bully stories. And we just had the guy pay for his crimes or whatever it was that was going on. I don't know if he actually committed a crime, but it was either that or lose fame. And we don't want to lose the fame. Have these houses built up. Look at our jobs real quick. We only got three builders. We get a few more put in place where we want them, hold them off from doing complete construction. Let's go ahead and get this one up going to, but that was just to get the homeless person off. I want to start emptying out, or not emptying out, but getting some of these people in their own homes because they are of age and they can start having families and increasing our population again. So we are back at 60 in population. All right, so we have some newcomers coming in. So we're going to have about, about five or six homeless folks running around for a moment till we get another house built. Don't want to put anyone right, not any homes in this area. Probably put a few more over here. So let's go ahead and get this, these trees right here out the way. Again, I wish that's something they would fix in this game is this mechanic where I can't build like multiple homes at one time. I have to keep going back in and adjusting it or picking it to make it build a house again. It's enough for the main road to get by. Give it some little design, little character to this area right here. So we've got three other houses, six houses ready, are going to be ready soon enough to be put in, families put into them. But the folks are definitely running around, moving goods around, buying food. As soon as they buy it, though, the marketplace is still full. Wagons. So I want to say they seem like they hold a little bit more. And if I put them in multiple areas, maybe that'll increase both of them. We'll put two down there on each one of those. And we'll do the same here. Just rotate them a little bit. We'll put one there, one there. So the house was finally built there for the get that homeless those homeless folks off the streets. And now we got to wait on them to start bringing in some more supplies to get these other seven ready to be constructed completely. So that we can put people in those homes as well. All right, we're almost out of winter. About two-thirds of the way through. We have another trade ship coming in. Now we have discovered Paris. So that's Leeds, England, and Paris, France that we have discovered so far. So let's see. Fabric, fruits, fish, meat, leather, wool, high quality, and iron tools. And I still don't have the money for none of this. The only thing I technically would buy is wool just so to help increase the numbers of what we have and we will probably go ahead and make that trade we'll gear up to their and we have another fam another few i say family at least two folks and more than likely are a family that are homeless so we'll get that next house built up we are stat at a 73 population now 
Still have a lot of bread sitting up here at the mill that hasn't been gathered yet. We could put in another shipbuilder. This would be intelligence and speed. Logic. We'll put logic in there. And carpenter. Let's see. We need someone with power. We'll put ice grid. This grid is in there. We're trying to wait for this other home to be built so that we can get our homeless people here off the streets and into a home. Hopefully they'll start getting on these other six houses as well as far as getting them ready to be built as well. So let's go here and knock up our other two farmers. So that's going to get our laborers down to 10. Home's almost built. Still have at least one person running around that's homeless that I can see. Of. There's the second person. They're over here chopping down firewood. We're at 62, so we got to get that built back up. I might have the stone cutters go up to 200. We'll set that limit because some of the next few buildings that we'll be building or and unlocking is going to require a lot of that smooth stone. So we got a relative that has died and feels cold. Understandable on both of those, especially in the dead of winter, it's going to be cold. All right. They are starting to st pick this stuff up here as it comes along. We're going to put another road in right through our goat and cattle farm because I just noticed a guy cutting through the path there, so we might as well just put in a road. And we're going to just do a little pathway so it won't cost us as much silver. So let's check our tree of life real quick. we got four points, and we have already got our trade port. We're going to products are bought 10% cheaper. We're going to go ahead and explore that. And this is the making of our trade ship, the NAR. So on the NAR, we have to wait a little bit till we get to six because we are currently only at two. But I do want to look at one more thing. Let's see. There are a few things down here that we can do. There's villagers work 1% faster. 1% happier. We'll do these two just to go ahead and knock them out and give us a little extra boost to our people as far as walking and happiness overall. So we have a few people I see that are hungry, some that are tired. Both marketplaces are still full to the max with other places waiting to get food delivered to those areas. Somebody right there looks like a little kid. Walking across the, uh, it's a girl. She's 15 years old, and she is unusually short in stature. So that's something interesting. I didn't, I didn't know you could actually. I mean, I never really paid attention about going into and like looking at the different people. Uh, this is a boy. He is 12 years old. He is quarrelsome, charismatic. He is also of short stature. And he's a little on the thick side. So we got a thick side. All right, so we got another one here. This is a boy. He is 10 years old. He is a coward. He is a little on the thick side. And he's cunning. So you got a cunning, thick, little thick boy running around. But that's pretty cool. That's pretty interesting. I didn't know you could go in there and check all this out. This is a man, not a boy, a man. He's 33 years old, and he is a worker. Okay, that's a whole lot of information there. <laughs> no, that's not that's not what I wanted. I wanted this one right here. This one here is a woman. She's 21 years old. She's athletic, uh, athletic cunning, oh, sorry, me. <laughs> uh, thin, okay. Oh, she's doubly cunning. Oh, yeah, that's most women right there. I'm joking. But yeah, that's something interesting. I know you could do that too. You can go through and check out the people, get a little history on them or a little bit of the, the story behind them or whatever. It's pretty cool. Start working towards, we need six um, research points to go into our tree of life so we can unlock our trade ship, which is fine because we do have other traders coming in. So far we've met um, people from Leeds and we've met people from Paris. Now to give us uh, a... We used to get in trade from them, so that's that'll be helpful for us. I don't want to run through too much of our money building this road, but we do need to get up to this area here 
to build our stone pit. And like I said, I'm also going to be putting a few homes up in here so the workers don't have to travel as far and um, a marketplace and everything. So that'll help bring in some more of the food that's being huddled in these three areas, the marketplace here and marketplace there and the mill. Well, maybe some of it will start getting pulled up here to the north side around the stone pit. So we are at 79 people. We're about to break our objective of having 80 says we can go ahead and start planting our wheat which we'll go ahead and do because we are already into spring as you can see on the dial at the top all right we have gathered our 80 people now the next is to gather the army so we've got to build a training camp and train at least five light infantry and five archers time for the trade so we've got a trade dock already built and it wants us to own at least one NAR, which is a trade ship, and send a NAR on a mission, which we do not have just yet. It might be a Canar. I might be screwing that up. I'm sorry. It might be a Canar. Well, let's check this out first. So we got a blessing coming in a day and a half, or a little more than a day and a half. And then spring is coming in about two and a half days. Where do we want to build our training camp? We have the stone pit coming up in this area with a few homes. We could put that training camp up here on this peninsula because it will be wide open. So we could put that uh, training camp right up here on top, which is basically to turn it into a castle over in this area here because we don't know if we do get raided where they will exactly come from. However, we do have walls in the game now, so we can wall off any sections that we don't necessarily have protection yet until we get to that point so maybe we can put the training camp here we'll be close to the water we might end up putting a war dock over here on this side simply because the training camp will be close and if we send out raiders the soldiers will have a short distance to go to get on the, on the warship tell them tell them to mine out these trees in this area and decorations where you can i think it might be actually at the beginning yes it says you can build a bridge however it can't be i guess a long bit would be nice to put a bridge across here but unfortunately you can't do that and i'm pretty sure that if you tried to yeah oh wait a minute is it going to actually do that underwater okay i'm spending four silver to see this it's that it's it it no they're not going to walk underwater. That's <laughs> okay. Land of the Vikings. What is this? You can't be putting roads under the water. This is not right. <laughs> All right. So we can't do that. Oh, and we got our six. So let's jump up here and get our Canar trade ship built or re I mean, not built, but unlocked so that we can build it. And we're actually going to get them doing that right now if we have the money. And we do not have the money because I wanted to spend four silver to see if I could walk under the water. Or if they had actually built a road to under the water. The stone pit. Let's check it out. Let's make sure first that it's not going to cost us anything to build this. So we can build that right there. Set it up to be built. Don't have to really rush to build the stone pit because there's still a lot of stone laying around that we can gather. We do need the silver, which we do have 50 now, so maybe we do have some newcomers coming. Spring is coming. Can we build our trade ship? Yes, we can. So we're going to have three fabric and 64 uh, lumber. We've got the fabric right there. Pretty sure we got the lumber as well. Housing is looking okay. Everyone's got a home, in other words. These are still poor houses, and once we unlock to the next level, we'll start be able to, we'll be able to start putting in the good house. Looks like everything is good on numbers. If we were to go ahead and put in, I don't want to put it too far away from the the hunting lodge and gathers hut and things of that nature, just to make sure that they're able to get around not being so far away from it we still have plenty of homes down down here that can be built up if we have people coming in we'll use those for those reasons but i want to start bringing some housing into this area i don't want to put it 
there. We know the training camp. We're going to try to put the training camp right here. So let's get us a little road. All right, we'll stop right there because that's right, right in this area is where we're going to do the training camps. A few houses down through here. I'm not going to start them up just yet. We're just going to get a few in placed in once we are ready to build that marketplace. Oh, look now. Doing some kind of little dance, jiggy jiggy or something with it. All right, let's get. Oh, uh, yeah, they can join. And that um, thing I was talking about having emergency homes to be built. When somebody comes in, yeah, they just showed up. All right, we're going to make you a priority. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven folks running around. All right, as you can see, our little trade ship is getting built right there on our shipyard. That's pretty That's pretty sharp. I like that. You hear him cutting away at the wood. So our population now is 96. So we have a marketplace here. We have three homes that are going to be built up here as well. So the house is about to be built here to hopefully get these, all seven of those uh, newcomers that just came in into a home. But I'm probably going to turn around and unlock another one simply because with those seven new members, there's got to be some adult in that group, possibly have married off to one of these other uh, townspeople so they can start another family. Does just basically increasing our population or constantly. All right, so we didn't get to catch our trade ship being finished. However, there it is right there. So we're just going to call it into the dock right up here. And we're going to say, bang, there she is. But anyway, we got to stay, get back on top of this wood because when wood's getting low. We want to keep that firewood and everything. Ooh, wait a minute. I can't even send any my guys off for a trade mission yet because there's one thing we are definitely missing, and that is beer. So, in order to get beer, I've got to get a barley field planted, but I want to just change this over to barley. All right, got a missing dagger. Cannot investigate because I don't have the money. Don't want to kick him... Don't want to, I might have to kick him. Well, we're about to lose some members of the village here because I have no choice. I don't want to do nothing because I lose fame. All the villagers would be unhappy. If I blame and execute Bjorn, the villagers would be happy, but the family won't be and I'll lose fame. Or the villagers would be happy and I just lose fame. Or the villagers would be very unhappy and the lesser of three evils, I guess. Still have a few homeless people out here, so we need to get these homes built. What's going on with the, okay? We got fish is full, marketplace full, <laughs> windmills full. Um, got 102 in firewood, but let's go ahead and increase this number as well. Let's put it at 150 because we are building more homes. Well. We do have plenty of bread and wheat. We could just straight turn this once they get this harvested. We could just turn it straight over to barley. I think that's what we're going to end up doing. We do need to build a barley granary. Let's just set it off to the side up here. The next thing we need to do is build. So once we have the brewery built, that'll start producing beer which we'll need for our trade ship to make trades. So we're gonna put that brewery right there. I'm gonna put this on a hard pause because it's gotta have the barley before we can start making the beer. So there's no sense in rushing that. Uh, we got somebody missing in the warehouse. So someone has either passed away or has moved off to another job. We need someone with speed and we got somebody. Already there. Problem is, we're not getting plenty of damn wool right now. And that's the thing. We might build another. Uh, we might end up moving. If our town gets too big or gets bigger, it starts moving towards this area. We might end up moving 
the goat farm and cattle farm and chicken coop to another area of the map, which we could put it right over in this area here because we have plenty of room for it. Just so we can make them bigger and a couple more of them over there to produce more. Because right now, like as you see, it says you got, oh, that's the meat limit. So we can have up to 20 animals per ranch is the max you can go. Um, you can tell it to automatically slaughter so many at a time, but we don't want to do that. Let's see, as our marketplace is getting, getting up, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and once this marketplace is up, just so we have someone, some people in the area, we'll go ahead and start building these houses to pull people up to this area. All right, everyone, I want to thank you for watching. This is Panic and Grey West End, and this has been some more Land of the Vikings.